One of Northeast Wisconsin's favorite family attractions is set to open this weekend. About a million people a year visit Bay Beach Amusement Park. Such a great place, and for the first time in more than two decades, those visitors will be paying a little bit more. Fox 11's Emily Matesic is following the money for us tonight. State inspectors are visiting Bay Beach Amusement Park this week, checking all the rides working with park staff to ensure everything from the Ferris wheels and bumper cars to the swings and scrambler are ready for riders. These rides are operating all year round and, and they get a lot of wear and tear over the season. So you got to keep things tight uh, so that something doesn't pop out or or cause a safety hazard. The inspection comes as the park prepares to unveil an updated version of the Bay Beast, 15 feet higher than the original one. The nebulas will be open for the entire season too as it was introduced for the first time in September, just weeks before the park closed for the season. And along with new bumper cars designed with a Corvette feel, the stairs on the big slide are in the process of being replaced, so that ride won't be open for at least another week. Now, over the past couple of years, we've upgraded a lot on the scrambler, the buckets, we've upgraded the Ferris wheel buckets, uh, just a lot of different a lot of different costs have gone into these rides over the last couple of years, but uh, now they're, they're ready to go for another 20, 30 years. It's been more than 20 years since Bay Beach, which funds itself and uses no taxpayer money, increased the cost of rides at the park. Back in 2003, tickets went from 20 to 25 cents a piece. As our costs have gone up, it's kind of forced us to to look at some of our pricing structures and, and really um, still try to remain affordable for everyone. The park planning to increase the number of tickets needed for 10 of the 22 rides, including an extra two tickets for the Zip and Pippin. The small kitty rides, however, will be free on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. The ticket increase allows the park to continue to upgrade rides when needed and pay summer staff. For the first time in about five years, we're sitting really well on our staffing. Um, our concession staff is full and we need about a handful of ride operators. So it's really the, the best position we've been in at the beginning of the year, uh, you know, going into a season in a, in a very long time. Bay Beach opens on Saturday at 10 a.m. Reporting in Green Bay, Emily Matesic, Fox 11 News. The slide isn't the only attraction that won't be ready for opening weekend at Bay Beach. Park officials said the new all-inclusive playground isn't set either. Equipment for the new space has been installed. However, the groundwork isn't quite finished. Once it's done, park officials have big plans for the west end of the amusement park. Once the playground opens, we're going to have a little stop on that west end train where we can pick people up coming from the playground so we don't have to walk as far going into the park. And then next year we plan on running the full train ride out to the uh, new playground, um, having a bathroom facility, a train depot out there where people can ride into the park as well. If all goes as planned, the playground could be open by the end of this month. Kind of walk us through what's going on out here today. Sure, uh, we have the secretary from DSPS out here and... Um, just kind of going over uh, what we do for the inspections. Our ride inspector has been out here for most of the week, going over, going through all the rides and making sure they're safe for operation, checking everything. Uh, you know, might have happened during the winter, some upgrades that we made, and so just making sure everything's great for this weekend. Yep. How, how are things going? I guess. Things, yeah, <laughs> things, things are going great. Um, we're uh, just getting everything ready. It's like, kind of like the last push uh, since we opened Saturday. So real excited. A lot of work goes into this every year. Uh, we pretty much start from the day we close and work all the way up to uh, when we reopen again. So. Uh, it's always great to get these rides back up and going, get them inspected, get them cleared, and then get people on them. Talk about what's new this year, or upgrades that have been made kind of over the, the since last year. Sure, uh, we're happy uh, it'll be the first full year of the Nebulas. Uh, we, we debuted that last September, and uh, people seem to like it a lot, so it'd be great to get people out here who haven't been on that to experience that. Uh, we have the return of the Bay Beast. It's uh, basically a, a newer version of the one we had before and about 15 feet higher, so it'll be a kind of a different ride but still still uh, much in the same vein of, of fun and then we have new bumper cars as well uh, our bumper cars are getting a little old and we can only have a certain amount on the plate at a time so now we have 15 cars going at all times got the old school kind of Corvette feel to them so we're really excited about having all three of those rides out here this year I'm gonna ruin those Corvettes and the, yeah. the bumper cars and you can talk about the inclusive playground and what's going on with that I know it's it's, it's the groundwork that still needs to happen yeah right? absolutely that that's coming together great um, we're really excited about that uh, it's 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 turned out even better than we even could have imagined so we just still have some uh, some work left to do on that on the, on the site itself with the pour in place and the uh, the concrete and fencing and all that but we you know we're hoping by the end of the month maybe Maybe early June that that'll be up and ready to go and uh, can't wait to see people playing on that as well. There are other upgrades that were made um, 
to other rides, current rides that? Yeah, we had to replace the stairs on our slide. Uh, those those were kind of getting to the end of their life, so uh, they're currently working on those. So that won't be open this weekend, unfortunately, but we're, we're hoping for next weekend on that. And then um, uh, over the past couple of years, we've upgraded a lot on the scrambler, the buckets. We've upgraded the Ferris wheel buckets. Uh, just a lot of different a lot of different costs have gone into these rides over the last couple of years, but uh, now they're they're ready to go for another 20, 30 years. Yeah, you mentioned the cost, I know increasing the, the prices. Try to talk a little bit about that and why why that was maybe necessary or important to do, because it does cost a lot to a absolutely. Keep this up and, and you know, and, and, and since since the last time we even had an increase, like even the amount we have to pay our ride operators has doubled. So um, it, the increase of the rides as we get newer rides, um, you know, like the Nebulas and, and the Ferris wheel, you know, a lot of them are computer driven, so that requires constant upgrades. And, and the cost of running those is a lot more than, say, the ladybug. So, um, you know, as our costs have gone up, it's kind of forced us to to look at some of our pricing structures and, and really um, still try to remain affordable for everyone. We want to keep our concessions affordable. We still have all the family rides are still at the same price. And then we're offering the, the three kitty rides for uh, free during the week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So uh, hopefully that'll help offset that a little bit. But, um, yeah, since we're, since we're, we're – funding ourselves essentially uh, since since the it's not funded by the tax roll and we're self-sufficient it's it's important that to be able to maintain what we're doing out here is to to kind of make some adjustments how when was the last time you had a rate increase i guess i think the mayor said about 20 years ago Do yeah you know, the, the, when the, the tickets went from 20 cents to 25 cents in 2003 so that was the last significant one we've had okay and um and you talk or how are you staffing wise i know it's always <laughs> i feel like we've, we've talked about yeah. this before we're, for the first time in about five years, we're sitting really well on our staffing. Um, our concession staff is full, and we need about a handful of ride operators. So it's really the, the best position we've been in at the beginning of the year, uh, you know, going into a season in a, in a very long time. You said, you, I mean, since 2003, you've doubled their, their rates. So, yes. so it's, I mean, it's a good summer job for something, Absolutely. Right? It certainly helps. And, 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 you know, they're finally getting paid what we feel they're worth. And, you know, I mean, you can't ever truly pay what, what, what you know, for what they do out here, for what they're worth. But, um yeah, it's it's certainly helped by raising those by raising the uh, the wages and 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 we hope that we give them a, a good you know positive work experience out here. A lot of them it's their first time job, and uh, I, know I want them to have a positive experience because you know that's what it was for us. Uh, all of us managers, we we started out here uh, doing the same jobs they did, so we want them to have a similar experience to what we had. How exciting is this? It's sort of the you know it's almost the kickoff, right? You're opening this weekend. Absolutely, like this, it's. It's always stressful this week, but uh, it's it, it, it's always worth it once everyone's out here riding the rides and having fun. And you see the smiles again, families making memories, and and that's that's why we do it, and that's why we stick out here year after year. And what's the train situation? And I know because you know you got another train, uh -huh. so walk me through that. Yeah, currently uh, for this year we'll have our normal trains. Our we'll have our uh, East End train, the traditional train running, and then we'll have the one going under the Zip and Pippin as well. Um, once the playground opens we're gonna have a little stop on that west end train where we can pick people up coming from the playground so you don't have to walk as far going into the park and then next year we plan on running the full train ride out to the uh, new playground um, having a bathroom facility a train depot out there where people can ride into the park as well so always always upgrading and changes and new things always working on on making the park a better experience for everyone i know on the legit there are a couple of rides that on Uh, the slide will, will not be open this weekend, and then um, that should be about it. We're, we, we're working just on a couple issues with some other rides, some minor ones, but those should be ready to go for this weekend as well. We're, we're looking at next week. We just had to um, finish up. They're replacing the stairs on that and a couple of uh, um, plates up on top, so hopefully that should be done next weekend. If not, then for the 17th. Thank you.